If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. It does absolutely nothing but boost my ego. If you're interested in IRL stuff, I am doing a video game collection series right now. Please feel free to check that out. And of course, if you need coins, head over to U7Buy. The link for that is in the description. Use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What's going on guys, Tavium here, welcome back to another episode of the Liverpool Past and Present, which has a little sub section in it now, which is the Wales, not necessarily past and present, although there will be icons, I'm sure, at some point, but I, I put this together yesterday, it cost me a fair few thousand coins, and I say fair few, I had to buy the majority of the players that you see, completed Ramsey's SBC, was it an 82 and an inform, 83 and an inform, something like that. Completed it anyway, there it is. Haven't used him yet, will do. But uh, Wilson comes over from the Liverpool past and present. He will likely be replaced in that uh, team very soon. If we pick up Ian Rush, which his moments card is very cheap. Fernando Torres' his prime is quite cheap. Mane looking to come in Salah. There are so many players we can bring into that team. And Wilson will not stand the test of time. He's still able to get some upgrades, so there is a chance he'll go to an 87 before the end of the season. But uh, he will be a, a main feature of the Welsh team because he's the highest rated striker besides Gareth Bale. Speaking of Gareth Bale, picked up the inform. Uh, didn't spend too much on it, to be fair. It was 28,500. There is a better version, but he's a couple of hundred, maybe even 300,000 coins. Don't really see the point in, in going into that when I'm not going to be using this team that often and it's sort of a subsection of the, the whole series. And then we have, and I can't remember his name, Johnson. Um, Brennan Johnson of Nottingham Forest. Four-star weak foot. This guy cost me 15,000 coins, which is the bare minimum for a, a man of the match. Great agility, very good stamina. Uh, not necessarily good in front of goal or passing or anything else for that matter. He can run and he has stamina and he's Welsh and it was good enough for me. You can't have a Welsh team without Joe Allen, so that's why he's there. We're playing Dan James off Kem, but we kind of have to because we don't have another left-sided player we can bring in. And then the rest of it is pretty diabolical, if I'm honest. Uh, there's only one gold goalkeeper option. He's an inform and he's worth about 35,000 coins right now, which is just ludicrous. And there aren't any gold defenders that play for Wales, so problem there is a obviously ben davis uh left back we could use but he's not as good as as john to be honest so just going to use john for a bit of pace and then we do of course have roberts as the right back who isn't anything great i will use this team every now and again don't expect to see it every episode because it's just not going to happen uh but you will see it now and again i was looking through my my liverpool team and the, the obvious upgrade now is, is, is besides Wijnaldum, is probably going to be Wilson to drop down to the bench instead of maybe Harvey Elliott or something and then put in Ian Rush's moments card. I think it's under 200k, which is not a, a massive amount to spend. And he's actually looking pretty good as well. So I think that probably could be the next change. I was going to go and buy the best informed version of Robertson. However... Given the fact that he scored the opening goal against Everton, and I think it was a Wobi, he stopped a Wobi from scoring what was an open goal. Uh, Everton, good move down the left. They cut the keeper up, and if Robertson wasn't there, it would have been one all. So yeah, I think he'll probably get the inform. But I think there'll be a 90 rated card, and I'll get that. I'll try my best to try and get that inform. I'll be surprised actually if we don't pack it, because we have now got a fair few. Pack stored. I say fair few. We've got four. But we will be building more throughout the week, of course. 50k pack, 286 rated, the 83 plus E figs, and then the 11 81 plus Premier League pack. I need to get off that just before I open it, just in case I open it, sorry. But um if he's in form and we decide to open it, thing is they're not gonna release the Premier League team of the season straight away. They're gonna release the community, and of course, I don't really want to be opening many, if if any packs for the community, to be honest. Because I can't imagine there'll be that many Liverpool players in it. And I'll want the Premier League one because that's the best chance we get of opening uh, for, for for Liverpool players. Uh, let's have a little look at SBCs first before we have a look at what I believe is icon swaps that started today. Uh, that's going to be the main talking point. Uh, the other talking point actually is going to be the Prime Icon player pick. This is 100% worth it if you are a casual player or even a hardcore player. Any form of player that isn't doing what I'm doing right now. 
it is worth doing. Unfortunately, for me personally, I don't think this is worth it. Because even if I got Pele, Cruyff, Eusebio, yes, I'd be happy. And yes, I would use them. And Ronaldinho, I mean, I, I, I would love to have a Ronaldinho card. But the problem is, because I'm doing Liverpool past and present, my main focus is going to be with those type of players, with Liverpool past and present players. Every single Liverpool past and present player, with the exception of Kenny Dalglish, and even then he's not that expensive, they're all cheaper or in and around the same price as to what this Prime Icon player pick costs. So regardless of whether I get the best Liverpool player I can, it's not really going to be a win for me. I think Prime Dalglish is maybe 300k, possibly, maybe even less, I don't know. But um, yeah, it's not worth it for me. I was, I, I started to fill it out and I thought, what am I doing? There's no point in me doing this. There's point in everyone else doing it, just not me. So, warm-up series, what do we have? Uh, I need to do that again, and I will do it. La Liga times 11, I mean, it's a no-brainer. You kind of have to do it, even if you don't care about La Liga, which I don't. It just makes sense. Uh, Bundesliga times 11, there is a Bundesliga challenge for the premium uh, players pack as well. And I will be doing the... Did I already do it? Did it expire? It might have expired. I'm pretty sure I didn't do it and I looked at it and I thought, oh, I'll do that tomorrow because it had enough time. Now, I've let it expire. My fault. Uh, there was a, a Premier League um, premium players pack there. I did initially say I wasn't going to do it. I changed my mind and I've just forgotten and it's gone. So there it is. It, it, you know, it is what it is. I will do that and I will do that and I will do the Bundesliga uh, 11 as well. Uh, swaps. Before I look at Icon Swaps itself, I want to go and have a look to see what we need. My club is barren. It is going to be a problem for me to complete any of these. So here we go. MLS I will be able to do. These are the ones I'm not looking forward to because this is obviously squad battles. So, win six uh, on world class difficulty with silvers as it normally is. Uh, win six with MLS, which is fine. I, can, I, I know I have. Uh, 11 silver MLS players, so I can do those two at the same time. That's fine. And I also have 11 first owner MLS silvers. I know that for a fact. So that's good. I can do all three of those in one go. That's banging. Then uh, we have uh, Brazilians, which shouldn't be a problem. And then we have English, which is definitely not going to be a problem. Uh, that's fine. And they don't need to be first owner or anything. So I will need to play, what, 18 games of squad battles in the next 28 days. Oh, see, it sounds like, oh, you've got a load of time. But I know what will happen. Oh, I'll do that. I'll do that next week. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it later on. And there'll be three days left and I'll be like, crap, I've done none of it. And now I need to do all of it in three days. Uh, but I will try my best to knock those off. I know full well I can do Silvers and MLS and one club in one go. Will I do Foot Champs? Probably not. Depends on what's available as the packs. Or if there is a Liverpool player, like a Moments or something, like a Fernando Torres Moments, Dalglish Moments, then we'll talk. Have a look at that in a minute. So the Serie A, win six with eight first owner players, score a finesse goal in six, and then assist with a through ball in five. Very straightforward, not difficult just kind of need the first owner um, Serie A players, really, which, unfortunately, I don't have. I'm going to have to wait until I open all the packs before I can actually do these, I think. Uh, Icon Swaps Bundesliga. It's going to be the same thing, but this time it's scoring 10 separate and assists with through balls and five. I think it's pretty much the same, isn't it? No, the, the other one is finesses. And then... It's the same, but the, at the bottom it says assist with a cross in five separate matches. And that is, of course, for the French League. So there we go. Now, it's time for me to go and have a look to see what... Actually, before we do that, let me show you where the coins have gone. So we were up to 1.2 million. I bought some players for the uh, for the Welsh team, of course. Gareth Bale cost me 30,000. Uh, was it Johnson cost me... Uh, 15k and obviously I, I probably spent a little bit doing Ramsey and I bought a few other silvers as well spent you know probably what 60 70 thousand coins on that team in total which may sound like a waste but hey it's what I do and then I went out and bought a few informs now I bought them at massively inflated prices massively inflated in fact they were like 24 25k 25,000 coins do I recommend it absolutely not However, I've seen nothing from EA with regards to a repeatable Team of the Week SBC. 
and we have what Tuesday, Wednesday and potentially Thursday left of daily SBCs that are going to require informs. The 81 times 11 packs that they're releasing all require informs. The 83 times 5 e figs or 85 times 3 or whatever it is, um, they require informs as well and they could still potentially put some players out for road to the final and stuff like that as well. So informs are going to be needed for the next few days and there is nothing to suggest that people are going to open packs before team of the season so they're only going to go up and if even if they don't go up i'm not going to lose money i will break even i am not worried about losing money on those cards now why didn't i go even further in you may ask and it's a good question see people are now like um flooding the market <coughs> flooding the market with them and i could probably get them cheaper than what i paid earlier or in and around the same price uh, because obviously it's six o'clock people have listed it all up for six and that's fine tomorrow afternoon about lunchtime they will be up even higher than i paid i almost guarantee it let's have a little look to see what's available is there going to be anything player wise we can go for or are we literally looking at packs again so we have the 82 times 25 is going to be one token Hey, I, do you know what? I, I like that a lot, actually. I didn't count how many tokens there were. Six, seven, eight, nine, maybe nine, possibly ten, but I think maybe nine off the top of my head. I can't quite remember. Silver, first owner, Brazil, English, MLS, foot champs. Can't remember there being any others. And then there are three leagues. So nine, I think. Uh, so we could actually go for the 82 times 25, the 83 times 25, and the 84 times 25, and it would have cost us six, and we would have still have three tokens left to carry over. However, I've seen somewhere, I think, that there is a very high, like, 85, 86 times certain amount pack at some point. So that's going to have another look. Van der Sar, we don't, we're not interested in because he's not a, a past Liverpool player. There it is. 85 times 20 is f only five tokens. Oh, there's Kenny Dalglish. <sighs> okay, well, the 85 times 20 is doable. Oh, see now, what, what version of Dalglish is it? Oh, it's the moments as well. Seven tokens. How expensive is Dalglish? Um, let's have a little... What? Yeah, 93. It definitely is. Right, it is the moment. Uh, he is... Oh, he's 780k for seven tokens, which I could get. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could get it by the end of tomorrow, for example. And we could have a 93 Kenny Dalglish. The only problem with that, then, is that we're going to have to wait 50... No, maybe not 55 days. We're going to have to wait until they reset, whenever that is. I didn't look. Um, in order to get the remaining eight tokens, I think it is, so that we can actually go and get some of these. We could get the 83 times 25 and Dalglish in this set, but that would involve me doing foot champs. So I could get the 82 times 25 and Kenny Dalglish if I really wanted to. How good is that card, though? Five star, four star. I mean, to be honest, it didn't really matter how good the card was. You have to have a Kenny Dalglish card in your past and present Liverpool. Uh, but yeah, that's something to think about. Do we go for that on the second time round? Just try and get as many tokens as possible. Get the packs. Open the packs. Because that is, that's almost a must, right? Can you imagine how many teams of the season you'd pack from opening that? You, you'd pack at least three or four in, in one of the packs. In that pack, sorry. You'd, ha you'd have to. That's mental. Um, I don't care about that. Kenny Dalglish is definitely something to think about. Let's keep going. George Best is there. That's like two Manchester United uh, past and present players. Samuel Eto'o. Lothar Mateus is 14 tokens. And then the top top dog is very rude. It's Rude Hullet. Um, not, I've never really done it for me, Rude Hullet. You know, I'm, obviously I'm not a Chelsea fan or any other club that he's ever played for. I'm not Dutch. So, you know, it's not going to do it for that. But, I mean, I've never really... Like, I've played with him and I don't really think he's that great. And I know it's probably... Because I'm not good enough to appreciate him or something. I just never really thought, yeah, that's a guy I really want. Lothar Mateus is, is the same really for me. just doesn't do it for me. But um, that would be banging. 93 plus icon moments player pick. But I'm not going to work 15. Um, 
Why would anyone? What? Am I being dull? Oh. So that one is a 93 plus. So you're cutting out a lot of the crap. But you have one of three to choose from. This one, you don't cut out the crap. It costs you an extra token. But you get a choice of one of five rather than one of three. I'd rather roll the dice with that instead, really. I honestly think that's probably better. Even if it is one of three rather than one of five. Because you cut out a couple of the lower rated moments cards you know you're not looking at the likes of yari lipman and that people don't want the catter and stuff like that so i think they probably even out you know what what's the why it's come up with something a bit different anyway um see even that 11 tokens still one of three so i'd still prefer the, to roll the dice with that and then use the extra five tokens on that 85 times 20 i i need to do that 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 is a must so this time round, I might just do that and maybe one of these. Could even do both of those, actually. And then maybe pick up Dalgleish next time around. Before I end, I want to have a little look to see how long we have on those. Um... Yeah, so 28 days from today is when they will flip over and we'll get the next set. So I think I'm going to do the 85 times 20 and I will do probably the two lower. 82 times 25, 83 times 25, I think. I'll do those. That's eight tokens. That would mean that I don't have to do the foot champs. Pretty sure. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that, that works out. I'll do that. Get all those packs. Pack a few team of the seasons. Hopefully get some Liverpool players in there if I'll wait for the Premier League uh, team of the season to come in before I actually open them. So I do have a couple of weeks to actually get all that done. And then we'll only have to wait another two weeks. And then we'll get a shot at getting the seven tokens. And then we can pick up Kenny Dalglish for the Liverpool past and present team. And I'll, I mean, I might just call it a day there because that's seven tokens. I will still have a chance to get one more token, but I won't have anything to use it for. So yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. And to be honest, I normally change my mind. I think I'm pretty set in stone on that. It just makes sense to go for it. To get the team of the to get the packs for the the Premier League team of the season to try and pack as many Liverpool players as possible and then work towards Dalglish later on. What do you guys reckon and what do you plan on going for when it comes to icon swaps? I'm a big fan of icon swaps. I wish there was like you know they they did they brought out like the swaps things for each promo or they've done it like three times. I wish it was for every promo so there's constantly something to work towards because I am a big fan of it. I like having something to go for. The problem is I don't know if I'm gonna have. <laughs> The, the players I need to actually do them. I can do these, but I don't think I can do these. I don't know. If you have enjoyed this episode of Liverpool Past and Present, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until the next time, goodbye.